So today is a very special day for the whole community, for Rock and Roll's success, for me personally, hopefully for you guys, because I got a new toy. And I'm very excited about this toy that I got. And I actually got it a couple of days ago, but I didn't. I really wanted to do a bit of a unboxing video and I didn't have time. So I was waiting for this and I was blessed to have a beautiful sunny day here in Reno, Nevada. So this is the first video I do here in Reno. And this thing will revolutionize everything that I put out going forward. I'll be able to do some live shots, film things, you know, because with your phone, sometimes it's hard to film out in the wild. People see you with the phone in their face and they're like, oh, I don't want to be in the shot or something. At least maybe for people that are more naturally extroverted and they really don't care. But for me, sometimes it's hard to like look like I'm shoving a phone down people's faces. So I decided that I should get an actual camera and after a lot of deliberation, not so much deliberation actually, because I got, I fell in love with this camera from the get-go and I saw a lot of other creators, other YouTubers, other, you know, people that make cool stuff and I really loved the camera and I really loved the things that it's capable of doing. And also, while we're at it, I also learned a lot of stuff about lighting, about the, how to make better quality videos in general. So hopefully I'll be able to start using this and, and also buy an, a few other ac accessories so that we can upgrade the quality going forward as well. But this is the time. I got the DJI. Osmo Pocket Free camera. And why is this super cool? Well, of course I'm going to open this and show this to you. And But you can see, first off, it has this little screen. It has an inbuilt gizmo that stabilizes the camera. Jabo. that stabilizes the camera you have these buttons here so you can focus on things and you can it has some inbuilt AI stuff so for instance I can put it on top of the table focus on myself and then if I'm walking around the table the camera will move itself so that it keeps focusing on you so this is pretty cool as well and yeah man i'm you know it's like getting a new toy in christmas so it's been a while since i was a kid and actually got things from santa we're using the art of brazilian gambiaja so i'm using this mechanical pencil to help me hopefully open this not sure if yeah Oops. the plastic is sturdier than it looks Okay, so I also got it with the creator combo, creator, yeah, I think that's how they call it. Yeah, creator combo, because it comes with a bunch of, of different things together, not only the camera. So, now's the time. They have this little plastic here. That's Kind of strong. Wow.
comes with silica to protect from humidity. And here's, oh look, this is interesting. So they send it to you in this little plastic that covers this case. So I guess everything's inside the case pretty much. So it comes in the plastic. Kind of like a condom for your case. Okay, it doesn't say much over here, just like <laughs> that it's made in China and stuff. Now, yeah, it's a fairly good looking case. Like, looks like a, what we call a necessaire in Brazil. That's like a case for your toiletries and stuff. Good looking zipper. So this is the bad boy. Look, it's so small. Hey, <laughs> it's smaller than I expected, which is actually good because like I was saying, I, I want to film stuff without people realizing that I'm filming. So with this in my hand, like it, it's, it, it really is, it is small, really stealthy. I guess I can sneak it in to things that I probably shouldn't be filming, like maybe in a concert or something. They might let me in with it without realizing I have a camera, which is cool. So let's, how do we turn this on? Oh, it it's on. Look how cool this is. So if, if I move my hand, it stabilizes, which will be awesome if I'm on the run and well, if you guys decide to buy something similar, it's super cool. Look, look how stable it is. Of course, I, I didn't tell. Okay, yeah, I it, it tells you. I need to set it up, of course. Maybe this button. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I guess so. I'll have to do another video, maybe if you guys want to know about it, because I have to set it up. So I'll do it later. Look how neat it. When I turned it off, it was moving around by itself and it just got itself back in place. Dude, this is so cool. It's like a little robot camera thing. And it has this joystick that you can use to to zoom and to like probably to control the camera I'll need to learn how to use it, it has this little on and off button uh, this is a screen which can be flipped oh and when you flip it it also turns the camera on okay so I select yeah okay I, I, I told it that I wanted to skip oh I'll, I'll set it up later but anyways swipe from left edge to enter playback swipe from right. uh, okay so now it's telling me like some of the some of the like the default settings things tap to switch between shooting modes tap to select smart gimbal mode tap to rotate gimbal oh this is cool so now it's looking at me I'll make it look at you guys. Tap to check, okay. So now it's looking at you guys. So we have this meta filming kind of thing. Like, it's like looking in the mirror with another mirror behind you. And if you see, when I turn it, um, let's try to do the so you see, now the camera is facing forward, but if I want to put it in selfie mode, I push a button and it turns back. And you can see that it tries to kind of follow me. As, as I do, this is so cool. So I'll, I'll try to focus on something random on the background and look how it's, it tries to follow it. Now I'll try to focus on something else.
yeah, it's having a hard time because I, f I focus on on myself on the camera. Of course, I'll, I'll have to learn how to use this thing. Look, I, I'm okay now. I'm I'm controlling it with the joystick, dude. It, it, it's super cool. I'll I'll turn it off right now, and I'll have to set it up. But, dude, imagine the possibilities that we will be able to use with this this thing. Also, not only with my own videos, but also with my clients and doing stuff for other people as well. That will be nice. So on the creator kit, we have a bunch of other things as well. So first of all, this is a microphone, I think. Yeah, I think this is the, yeah, this is the microphone that comes with the camera. Of course, it has its own inbuilt microphone, but this is probably better. It also comes with a little wind cover for the microphone that you can attach. So if you're doing outdoorsy stuff, might be good to just keep this plugged on. Also with this little string kind of thing so that you can maybe put it around your wrist so you won't drop it. It's always a good idea to do this with stuff because you never know, you know, people are clumsy. Sometimes things happen, you may get startled with something while you're on the road, on the wild, in the wild, whatever. And you know, you may be startled by something, like someone may come up behind you and you're not expecting it. You may be a bit like this and you drop stuff. So you never know what may happen. It's always good to use this, those little cords. We also have, what is this? Oh, what are these actually? There are two things. Okay, so this one. Ah, oh, this is nice. So this one is like a tripod that you can use it as a tripod and it also extends the camera so it makes it bigger. So it's kind of like a selfie stick as well and useful also as a tripod so I can put it on a desk or something, which is nice. This one, I guess it's a battery or something. Um, yeah, this is a battery to extend, the, yeah, to extend the battery, I guess. It's, it's a USB-C battery that also connects to the camera via USB-C. So, okay, let's try to show this one to you guys. Oh, so actually the battery connects to the tripod thing over here. You can't connect it directly, but then you can put the battery. It's just, just clicks, really easy. Just clicks and I guess you can charge it directly having it like this and then if you want to unplug it just push this button it comes out really easily okay while we're at it here we have yeah the USB-C port this I'm thinking is the micro SD port for the memory There's another one that looks like a port of some type, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, so this is the battery. This one is probably the receiver for the microphone. Okay, so I'm not sure what this one is actually. It might be the receiver. Let's see if they say it in the box. Yeah, so they say it's just a handle. So probably just a handle to attach it to the tripod. 
Not sure why you wouldn't use the battery then, but whatever. And also a USB-C to USB-C cable. I think that's it. No, there's something else. Oh, this is... What the hell is this? Oh, this is a wide angle lens, okay. So this is a wide angle lens that you can attach to the camera. Little wide angle lens. Let's see, let's, let's make Yeah, not sure how much this changed anything, to be honest. Oh yeah, it does change a lot, actually. Yeah, so this is how it looks on my cell phone with a wide angle lens and my hands on in front of it. And this is how it looks without it. So it does actually change things. Yeah, so you see it comes with a lot of trinkets for about 100 dollars extra so i think it's worth it because i was looking well of course micro this microphone is probably not as good as the, the other one but i was looking at a microphone and it was over a hundred dollars just for the microphone and it with the caveat that it does come with two microphones that you can plug in at the same time so for you know a live podcast type of setting on the road but this microphone seems legit seems pretty good and all of the things that come in this kit seem quite useful and it's a very neat little little bag that they give you so yeah i guess overall worth getting the creator kit probably of course with time and with actually using this i'll be able to give you guys a better overview of how it is but i guess the results will speak for themselves you guys will be able to see all of the different shots and all of the creativity unleashing that this new camera will be able to give and it's a new era it's a new era for rock and roll success you know I've in the last few weeks yeah yeah it's a couple weeks that I'm traveling now and damn there, there, there's a lot of airplanes over here so in the last few weeks there were many things that I wish I could film better if I had a camera like this but in the next few days I will also be going to some amazing places so I hope to get some good shots for you guys and to be able to go back to the basics and you know bring back the inspiring stuff as well but while we're at it I think it's rare to invest in yourself and it not being worth it and it can be anything it can be investing on a class investing on a book that you know there are many books that might change your life it can be investing on a trip somewhere so maybe you've never been out of your country or you know going to somewhere where people live in a way that's very different from what you're used to can be very inspiring and you can stop taking for granted things that are good where you come from and also see things that are better somewhere else and you know try to learn something from them maybe adapt some some of these things you know like some of the great empires in the world some of the great emperors and conquerors, they would adapt things 
from the people they conquered. So think of the Alexander the Greats of the world and that level of guy, they, they would conquer other peoples, but then they would, you know, get the good stuff from them and, and try to apply them to the rest of the empire. Oh, and this is something else that comes with it. Um, what is, okay, it's supposed to be a protective, protective cover. So I guess you can use it like if you wanna, this is a very small camera, you might be able to put it in a pocket or something. So this cover over here will help to protect your investment. And it, it also has a little space to fit in the wide angle lens and whatever Black Pro Mist is. So, it's a pretty neat cover and overall pretty neat little kit that they put in yeah man I you know when you invest in yourself it's very rare that you won't feel that it's worth it might not feel this way from the get-go but over time you'll see and you'll think wow thank God I did that investment. And it, it really depends on what your goals are and what's important to you, but it can be anything. It can be learning a new language, it can be traveling, it can be buying stuff for your business. But you know, anytime that you decide that you are worth it and that you should put your money where your mouth is, it's very rare that you will regret it. So the times that, you know, it's one thing to buy stuff that it's kind of useless. Like if, if you're just buying stuff just because they're expensive, just because they're branded, it may be useless. And it's like a bottomless pit if you're just searching for that you know that dopamine hit of buying something but if you're buying something that's going to be worthy like something that can be a, a tool for you business-wise um, maybe a new computer if you're using it to create something or for work it can be can be worth it so anytime that you you buy something like that it's actually an investment so, yeah, invest in yourself, invest in your business, believe in yourself that it will be worth it because 99 out of 100 times it will be worth it. Of course, if you get into that consumerism trap, like imagine now I bought one camera and now six months from now, I'm buying another one and another one and another one and thinking that this is gonna solve all my problems and that the thing is that I should have the best equipment possible and it's not about the creative process itself, it's not about the things I'm putting out themselves, my ideas themselves, it's about the equipment. Then of course, it's like if you give a, a super sports car, a Lamborghini, I know I hate this that Lamborghinis kind of got a bad rap right now because people just want to blow it with them they used to be my favorite brand but yeah let's say in the world of the guitars if you give a Gibson Les Paul one of the top of lines like a ten thousand dollar guitar even more to a beginner that doesn't make any sense like you could give him a 200 300 dollar acoustic guitar and that would be good more than good enough like you can give him a 600 to 700 epiphone Les Paul or I saw even some fenders at Guitar Center that that were on that range so really you can give him an awesome guitar for about 500 bucks and it's a beginner like 
you don't really need all of that and it, it and sometimes it's even worse if you give a beginner like the best top of line stuff because they'll be overwhelmed and they'll lose the focus from the creative process itself so yeah I guess the message of this video is that I'm very excited because I got a new camera and this will be able to unlock a bunch of things and a bunch of possibilities in the creative process. It's like a, a new level, it's like rock and roll to success 2.0 that starts now. And at the same time, I'd like to encourage you to do the same for you. So in my case, it was getting a new camera and a few other um, things that I can use to film and to improve the quality of the things I do. But in your case, it might be something else. It might be, you know, if you're a dentist, it might be getting a better chair so that your back doesn't hurt as much. You know, it can be anything. If you're a runner, it might be getting better shoes. It might be anything, whatever it is in your case that makes sense. If you can't afford it, just do it and thank me later. So keep rocking, keep rolling. You guys are awesome.